Have you ever thought about the fact that instead of sticking all your veggies in a big bowl and sitting there and chewing them forever, you could add them to a food processor instead? You could add a little bit of salt, a little bit of extra spices, some lime juice, and then you can pour it in a bowl and eat it with some chips. Yep, this might be my favorite kind of salad. Two cups and two tablespoons of flour, a half cup of sugar, a half teaspoon of salt, and whisk it together. And fold in one cup of butter. Oh, and two teaspoons of vanilla. It should look something like that. Now we're gonna press it into a pan. Make sure it's nice and even. Bake at 325 for 20 to 22 minutes. At this point, the crust should be lightly browned. It looks like me. Book about halfway through the crust with a fork. You need some help? Yes, ma'am. Pour the eggs into a bowl and one cup of lemon juice. Sift together two cups of sugar and six tablespoons of flour and whisk it all together. Now we're gonna pour our filling over the crust. We'll put it back in the oven for 22 to 26 minutes. When you tap it on the side, it should jiggle just a little bit. Let it cool for about two hours at room temperature. At this point, it should be pretty much set. Oh. Why is it kind of scary when you do TikToks?
today we're making I'm sorry, I'm cold. One and a half cups of sugar, one cup of fresh mint, chopped, and the zest of one lemon. Mix. Now add one cup of boiling water and stir until all the sugar is dissolved. This smells so good. Now we're gonna add just a touch of vanilla. Let it sit for 20 minutes, then drain. The juice of one lime and one lemon. Stir. Now chill until it's cold. Now pour it into an ice cube tray. You can pour this into a metal cake pan, but you'll have to break it up into chunks later. Whoop. Back in the freezer. Okay, once they're almost all the way frozen, we're just gonna scoop out some of our cubes. And there we have our lemon mint sorbet. Oh, definitely very cold, but it's so sweet and so refreshing. Oh my gosh. Wow, I like this a lot. Like this video so you can make it later and follow for more recipes. Yummy. Today we are making Doritos mozzarella sticks. This recipe is so easy. Take some Doritos, put them in a bag, crush them up. Crack two eggs in a bowl. Add a dash of milk. Whisk it up. Next we need cheese sticks or string cheese. Dip the cheese stick in the egg, then the Doritos. Do a double dip if you need to. Boom. Heat up some canola oil. Drop in your mozzarella sticks. Fry on both sides till golden. Simple yet delicious. There we have super easy delicious Doritos mozzarella sticks. Now for the pull test. Look at that! All right, y'all, who's ready for me to make the world's smallest cheeseburger? You're gonna need a vanilla wafer cookie, a Thin Mint cookie, a strip of yellow fruit by the foot, ketchup, mustard, Shredded coconut with green food coloring. Another vanilla wafer for the bun. Clean up your mask because you're not a barbarian. Next, you'll need to coat the bun in honey. Yes, you like that? Then you're gonna top it all off with sesame seeds. <laughs> yes. Again, clean up your mess. And if you're like me, you wanna be extra, add some french fries. <laughs> yes, bon appetit! Oh, I know you're jealous right now. Mmm. <sighs>